Question 24 Electronics and Communication Engineering Gate 2019 In the circuit shown Vs is a square wave of period T with maximum and minimum values of 8 volt and minus 10 volt respectively Assume that the diode is ideal and R1 and R2 is 50 ohm The average value of VL is dash volt in order to solve this problem, we need to know the basic concept of diode characteristics. How the diode will behave in the forward bias and reverse bias, we need to know those characteristics. So for that, please refer the NPTEL lecture, Lecture 3 Diode Characteristics by Professor K. Radhakrishna Rao, Departmental of Electrical Engineering, IIT Madras. The P and N type materials when they are brought together we will get a small depletion region generally. This is because the P type material will have majority of holes and N type material will have majority of electrons. Due to the electrostatic attraction between the protons and the electrons there will be a small depletion region that will be forming in a PN diode. When it is forward biased it is said that the positive is connected to P side and the negative is connected to the N side. So during the forward bias, when electrons are pumped via these terminals, more and more electrons will accumulate into the P-type material and they will be recombining with the holes that are already present there. Similarly, in the N material side, the holes which were there will be recombining with the electrons that are already present in the N type material. So this will reduce the depletion region's width. The electrons will flow from here and the electrons, more and more electrons will be recombining with these protons and it will create a space for the electron flow. Current is just electron flow, right? So when the electrons are flown from the battery, it will flow through this gap and then it will flow back into the source. So there will be a conduction happening during the forward bias. In the reverse bias, the positive terminal of a battery will be connected to the n-type material and negative will be connected to the p-type material. During this, the majority of electrons which will already be in the n-type material will not be available for recombination. This is because the positive side is connected to n-type material and more and more electrons will be pumped into the n-type. As a result, the holes that are there in the p-type material will be recombining more and more with the excess electrons that is supplied to this n-type material. So as a result, this replacement region will widen. So what happens? There is no path for electron flow. The electrons that are entering here will contribute to the depletion width to increase and later on it will flow back here. So once this keeps on increasing, there will be a point where the depletion region will break due to heat. All these forward and reverse bias characteristics will be mentioned in the lecture mentioned above. So, for solving this problem, it is sufficient if we know the basic concept of forward and reverse bias characteristics of diode and we also need to know the average value of a waveform. In the sine wave given here, the average value will be the summation of the amplitudes throughout the entire time period divided by time period. Consider we have a sine wave like this. The mean value of the sine wave from the time period 0 till its time period t which is 2 pi is given by the summation of the amplitudes throughout the time period divided by the counts or the number of samples. Here what is the number of samples? It is from 0 till the time t. So the counts here or the quantities will be t. So the average value of this will be the summation of the amplitude throughout the time period divided by the time period. How to find this when the amplitude is continuously varying every second? This is why we integrate. So the average value of a waveform will be 1 by t into the integral of the waveform. So here let us say that this is i0 sin omega t from the time period 0 to t. So this is the magnitude sum of the waveform for the entire time period divided by the time period. So this is how we find out the average value of a waveform. 
We are going to make use of these two concepts in order to solve this problem. The waveform Vs is plus 8 for the time 0 till t by 2 and it is minus 10 from the time period t by 2 till t. So we have different amplitudes at different time intervals. So in order to find the mean, we need to find out the response of the load to these two cases of input. Case 1 from 0 till t by 2 where Vs is 8 volt. So when the Vs is 8 volt, how will the diode behave? We have N terminal connected to the positive side and P terminal connected to the negative side. So this diode is reverse biased. In the question, it is given that the diode is ideal. It is not a practical diode. Meaning that when the diode is ideal, under reverse bias conditions, it is said to be a perfect insulator. So this can be considered as an open circuit. Whereas when the diode is forward bias, it will be a perfect conductor and hence it will be considered as a short circuit during forward bias. For more information, please refer the diode characteristics explained in lecture 3. So under reverse bias, this diode is said to be in open circuit because this is an ideal diode. So during open circuit, let us say that the voltage that is appearing across R2 is VL1. R2 is given as 10 ohm. R1 is also 10 ohm. So VL1 will be the total voltage of 8 volt times 10 divided by 10 plus 10, 20, which will be 80 by 20. So during the reverse bias, the voltage will be 4 volt. I am marking this in the same graph with another color pen. Red color talks about the voltage VL. So during the time interval from 0 to T by 2, the voltage will be 4 volt. This is the key. In the second case, let us see what happens. Now in the negative half cycle, from the time interval T by 2 till T, what is Vs? Vs is minus 10 volt. So when this is minus 10 volt, the polarities of this will reverse. Since negative is applied to the N terminal and then positive voltage is applied to the P terminal and this is considered to be in forward bias. When the diode is considered in forward bias and when the diode is an ideal diode, this can be replaced by a short circuit because diode will be a perfect conductor during forward bias. If it is said that this is a practical diode, you cannot consider this to be a perfect short circuit. Then the conditions will be different. Since it is given that the diode is ideal, we are considering this to be short circuit when it is conducting and a open circuit when it is not conducting. So now, because of this short circuit, the current supplied by the battery will reach R2 and from R2 through the short circuit, it will be reaching back to the source. Due to this short, no current will pass through R1. R1 will be bypassed. So thus, in the second case, the diode will be forward biased. When the diode is forward biased, this is considered to be in short circuit. The voltage across it, let us consider this to be VL2 during the second case. VL2 will be minus 10 volt because the plus terminal is here in the battery but we are measuring this to be plus and this to be minus according to the question given here. So therefore VL2 is minus 10 volt and VN1 is 4 volt. VL2 is also minus 10. Okay. So next we need to find out the average value of VL. The average value of VL will be 1 by 3 into the integral of this waveform from 0 till t. Since we have two conditions here, the positive and the negative, we can split this into two, which is 1 by t into the integral from 0 till t by 2 
here during 0 to t by 2 what is vl it is 4 volt so this is from 0 to t by 2 4 dt plus from t by 2 till t what is the value of vl it is minus 10 volt so it is minus 10 dt from the time interval t by 2 till t so this is 1 by t into 4 into t by 2 minus 10 into t minus t by 2 which is t by 2 so this implies the average value of vl will be 1 by t into 2t minus 5 which is minus 3 volt the average value of vl is minus 3 volt thank you